I've been an entrepreneur for over 25 years, and in that time period, I've worked with thousands of entrepreneurs. And I want to share something um, that I've discovered. We're just different. I mean, we are. Those of you that are entrepreneurs, those of you that live with entrepreneurs get this. The manufacturers of Ritalin get this. But the thing I find particularly odd about entrepreneurs is I could take a room full of 100 seemingly successful entrepreneurs, and I could talk to 50 of them, and they'll tell me how fulfilled and full of life and successful they feel. And I'll take that other 50 seemingly successful entrepreneurs, and I'll ask them the same question, and they tell me that they feel like complete failures. Now, how can this be? It's something I've wanted to understand forever, and I have gone on a quest the last year to try to discover this. And I believe that I've discovered the difference between entrepreneurs that are full of life and feel successful and those that are having the life sucked out of them is what they commit to. Entrepreneurs that mostly feel successful have discovered and committed to a higher purpose that their business serves, and they've made that the single-minded focus of why they do what they do. And what it does is it allows them to measure success not on somebody else's picture or on that cruel horizon that every step you take, it moves farther away, one more step away. They're actually able to turn around and measure how far they've come in pursuit of this higher purpose, and it makes all the difference in the world. I'd like you to meet Tony and Mary Miller. They own a janitorial services company in Cincinnati, Ohio. A few years back, had 100 employees doing a couple million dollars in business. Success story in every sense of the word, and they felt like total failures. Because see, they had a people problem. Every single day they'd wake up about 30 people short of the work that they'd committed to do because they couldn't find and keep reliable employees. And so, like all great entrepreneurs, they were going to solve this, and they were going to solve it on a Saturday. So they went to the library. <laughs> they went to the library, locked themselves in, said, we're going to get every book on HR and retention and everything we can find so we can solve this people problem. And one nugget that they came away with was that you need to make it easy for your employees to get there. Provide transportation if that's an issue. So the next day, they go out and they buy a shuttle. They put a sign on it. It becomes the company shuttle. It was the first time that they'd actually gone out with this shuttle to go pick up their employees and provide transportation. It was the first time they'd actually gone out into some of the neighborhoods where their employees lived. It was the first time they'd seen the poverty and the loss of hope that existed there. And they realized that they didn't have a people problem. They had a dream problem. See, apparently not that many people dream about going into the janitorial services business. And so consequently, the people that were attracted to their business were the people that had lost their dreams and had lost all hope. So they said, what if we decide to create a company that is about making dreams come true? What if we actually add an entire layer of management, we'll call them dream managers, and what their job will be every single day is to find every single employee, let them identify a dream, and then go after that dream, no matter how big or small. Maybe it was to get a GED, to buy a house, to send their kid to college, to go on vacation. It didn't matter. They were going to be a company about making dreams come true. So what did this do for them? Fast forward to today. Jancoa has 300 employees doing about $12 million in business. No employee turnover to speak of in an industry that experiences 400% turnover. 46% increase in productivity. Their dream manager program has been chronicled and copied around the world. But the thing they'll tell you that they're proudest of is that on the street, Janco is the company you go to to go to work if you want to get out of the janitorial business. They have created a company, they've committed 
to a company that is about making dreams come true, and they've disguised it as a cleaning service. How awesome is that? So I want to leave you tonight with one simple and arresting question, and boys and girls, this will be on the test. What is it about the work that you do that makes it worth it? Thanks.